I get so many comments saying I photoshopped my neck to be smaller, <laughs> but really I just have a little twig holding on my bobble head. Oh! She's yeah, flooding the place! The I'm gonna whack you! Towards, towards the tile. My parents didn't raise me religious, so this is the closest I'm going to a <laughs> baptism. Gorgeous. My real video is gonna be all the footage of us talking shit. It's gonna be Brad Mondo exposed. Now I guess we're gonna flip your hair to the paw. Well, shot. Thank you so much for coming. We're done. <sighs> What the fuck are you gonna do? I have no idea. Hey guys, what is up? It is Snitchery. How are you doing? If you're wondering why I'm wearing this beanie in the most obnoxiously bald, unflattering way, it's because today is a hair video. I went over to Brad Mondo's house and we did a little makeover that was quite the experience. This video is probably 10 times more interesting because he's gonna be showing you the dyeing process, but then I'm gonna be showing you the cutting process. If you're interested in seeing where my hair started and how we got it to the color it is currently, go ahead and check out his video. If you're interested in seeing the final cut, we took off a lot, like a lot of hair. I'm pretty much bald headed. Then you can keep watching this video. His half of the collaboration will be in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you somehow haven't already. And without further ado, enjoy. Hi guys, it's me. Hi guys, so like I said in the intro, I'm here with Brad Mondo, literally still blowing my mind. He's like, I'm sure you've heard of him already. He is the hair guru here on YouTube. We're gonna be doing a little Q&A about like the YouTuber industry, maybe a little bit about the beauty industry. I'm gonna be answering some of your questions. Just all the tea. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, <laughs> someone asked, is becoming IG famous by chance? I see amazing makeup artists here for years with no following. I think it's like 10% chance, but it's also 90% hard work because of course there are gonna be a few Instagram artists or YouTubers who do blow up just randomly over the course of like a month. But for the most part, the people who are really successful are the ones who have been doing this for like seven years. It looks to the public like they blew up. Like even big celebrities, like, oh my god, they mm -hmm. blew up overnight. Like, girl, ain't nothing happen overnight. Exactly. And of course you are like talented or original I'm or pretty authentic. Cute. <laughs> this is the authentic Brad Mondo exposed. <laughs> Someone asked, how do you personally stay out of all this drama? Um, I don't live in LA. <laughs> That's literally Same. it. I don't live in Los Angeles. We're like some of the only, I swear, only two New York beauty-based YouTubers. And I feel like it's so easy to stay out of drama if like you're not involved in that life. I really don't have any YouTuber friends. And like, I would never hang out with Sintry ever again because no. she's like really weird. This is exactly People walk by in the street, do not say anything. <laughs> it's all on that. You were nicer seven hours ago. <laughs> we're clearly not friends. How do you stay motivated when you feel like you're not growing fast enough? Wow, was that targeted? Yeah, that's a good, <laughs> scary question. Mm -hmm. I literally have no answer. How do you stay motivated when you you know, I did a whole panel about staying motivated at really? that playlist. Um, yeah, basically, the way you stay motivated is by not looking at the numbers too much and not true. thinking about the small picture, but the big picture. That's true, but um, also when it's already your job, you have to think about the numbers. Yeah. The numbers are how you get paid. Best not to compare yourself to other people mm -hmm. because everybody has a very different journey and it's easy to get caught up in people who are growing faster. How many followers do you need to have minimum to make a living off social media? I mean, it depends on where you live. Us living in New York, I don't know, what would you say? What would make you comfortable? Uh, so like making money on social media? No, to like make it your full-time job, like to make a living oh, off social media. I'd say 50,000 no subscribers. Yeah. I would say more view-wise, you would need like- I don't know. Know. I have no I idea either. People get paid That's a good question. Like 20,000 views a day. Mm -hmm. We were talking about the different industries and how like the beauty industry might not get paid as much in some capacities, but also there's so many beauty brands that want to work with people. So, I mean, it, it really just depends. I actually love this fucking haircut though. Like I, same. <laughs> like I'm living for this like bang moment mm -hmm. and like the fr like the fringy side. It's really cute. You look very edgy. She's edgy again. <laughs> I was so mundane and sad for the longest time. How do you deal with the pressures of putting out content that pleases everyone? You can't ever. Nothing you do is ever gonna please anyone. Anyone. Nothing you do is ever gonna please anyone. There's literally not a single piece of content that a single influencer could do that people aren't gonna bitch about. Especially in this climate, everybody loves complaining about everything on the internet. You can see the littlest things and mm -hmm. people are like, oh yeah, like you're the worst. And I'm like, okay. It's also, I feel like once you start trying to film things that a YouTuber would film or like really following trends and giving up your own authenticity and trying to please everyone, that's when you're either gonna burn out or people are gonna realize you're not loving what you're doing and aren't gonna wanna watch anymore. Yeah. That's 
my favorite part. Oh, look at that professional little hair scissor. Oh my God, we stan. We stan. Oh, I think you it's so cool. You just freak out when I did that first piece. You're like, wait, what the fuck? I mean, yeah, I want to say I trusted you, but yeah. Oh, the thing is so cool. It out. I'll call you in like a yeah. month and be like, I bought your fancy hair tool. Um, I'm bald now. Do somebody would make a, a video of me being like, Brad and I snatch you for 10 minutes. Stop. Like, stop. That's what the video's gonna freaking be because during the whole QA, so. we're catty. We've been answering questions for like, you know, maybe two hours and then we did yeah. our hair for six. Yeah. We did also a QA on his channel, so it's been a bit. Uh, I'm gonna get the Draco Malfoy comparisons again, and I'm gonna live. I can't believe my hair is just straight from not flat ironing it. I am in shock. This has never been my life. It's actually not that hard to have blow dry. Like, really? Yeah. I'll like wander around in my onesie with my puppy hair. She's just dry. She is chronically dry. I love these little bangs. I do too. I think they're so freaking cute. It, isn't it funny though when you sit here for like seven hours and get your hair done, you don't even like, it's not really like a big shock because you're like, you've been through the whole experience. Mm -hmm. so, like. Like to me, like it, this just looks like your normal hair. Like yeah, you have literally same. Like, it would look more fun now. I agree. I couldn't have looked less fun. Can you just stop touching your head for a second, and then we can just like finish it up. Yes, yeah, there you go. You look rich. <laughs> Love that. I was just, I was just thinking, like, how am I going to show you this? You guys are going to be seeing the back of my hair before I see the back of my hair. I'm a little jealous. Bump it up. Bump ahead. it up. <laughs> I'm just glad it won't be an awkward half bob. All right, ready. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we just <laughs> finished her hair. Okay, so basically, the, sh the shizna is here. Um, so she had like a lot of color in her hair previously. Uh, she had a lot going on. It was in general. Brown, and then it was red, or, and then it was blonde, and it was- A little black. Brown, little black, black again. A little pink. And then all with box dye, and then it turned green, uh -huh. and then she- da, 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 da. There's a video so, on my channel. I'll put it in the little- <laughs> And then she had a- go she, hard. <laughs> she had a, uh, like an inch long natural root going on. So we first hit the root. You'll see my video, all this stuff. That's probably the interesting part. <laughs> of course, like the more we do this, like the more perfect it'll get over time for being like a super corrective process. Like we're very happy with like the outcome and like obviously it's not perfection. It is but, perfection. Like, <laughs> this is also, like I said, this is seven hours of work. <laughs> It turned out so well. We literally like- I'm just happy your hair didn't fall off just because like <laughs> it was already damaged like going into it and I bleached it again. And yeah, we just did a little cut just to get rid of those dead ends. We shaped her up a bit and that's the deal. I will never talk to Snitchery, Miss Snitch ever again. So thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. The most pleasant salon experience. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. Up until 10 minutes ago, this is the most pleasant salon experience I'd ever had in my life. <laughs> Your video is gonna be us being so nice to each other because we didn't know each other that well. And then my video is gonna be us just like catty and rude. And if you, nobody, like if somebody doesn't watch your video, they're gonna be like, oh my God, these two can't stand each other. Do you want to check my it? hair? Nope. Nope. <laughs> just kidding. We'll oh, there. is that what you were doing? I was trying to turn you all the way around. I thought you were just like turning yeah. me around to show the back of my head. I know we were doing a full circle. Literally the coolest person I met in New York. Also happens to be the only influencer, so. Okay. That's not saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> on a serious note, thank you guys so much for watching and being my friend today and always. And I'll see you guys else? in the- <laughs> <laughs> We're so- I'm in pain. <laughs> all right, thank okay. you guys so much for watching today. <laughs> Don't forget to leave an extra love. Uh, okay, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, We're acting like scary blonde twins. I'm gonna get so much right. coverage in that outro alone. Do you want to do your Do you want to do your outro? Thank you for my I friend like today. A, I feel like it's already a good outro. Always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, you were doing it. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> And this is how she turned out. So when I was at Brad's house, it was so late. It was like an eight hour process. And he was like, listen, when you tone hair, sometimes your hair is gonna turn a little blue at the roots because my roots are so much lighter than the ends. So he said, next time you wash it out, it'll be fine. I did wash it once, but not with any like clarifying shampoo or anything. So it has gotten a little less blue, but I am platinum, baby. I'm so freaking excited and so thankful. It was an absolute dream to collab with him. Super nice guy. I'm gonna bug him till the ends of the earth because there's so few New York influencers and your girl needs more friends. Again, make sure to check out Brad's video if you haven't already and thank you for being my friend today and always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.